I chose the career of nursing because of who I am. Nursing is all of me. I'm from Nigeria, I'm from Enugu State, and I'm from Umobuago, that's the name of my community, my village. But then I'm going to be the first American graduate in my family, and actually the first graduate nurse in my community. My mom and dad are both teachers. My dad has taught in so many places. He set a standard for all of us. And sometimes people actually make jest of my dad because he had nine children. So all the money he made, he wasn't trying to let us live a flamboyant life. He wanted us to understand that education is the key, that money is not everything. Being in nursing school wasn't really easy. It was challenging. I read all the time. I spend like all the time in the library, but then when I take my exam, sometimes it doesn't reflect. I could pass, but then I wasn't really making this exact grade that I needed. It wasn't really easy, but I was, I, I really fought so hard. I made myself available for people to teach me, for people to help me. All my professors, I would say, are just like mothers. You know, at some point it was so hard for me to think that going to the faculty or going to my department was going to an office. It felt like going to to see my mom because my mom is a teacher and my professors just because they pay attention to me and I made myself available to them. They suggested that I go for support. Uh, I go and seek support in the school and all that. You know, I was assigned success coaches and counselors, you know, um, they, I started taking exams in the testing center where I was granted like an extra time for my exam. Obi came to our office about a year ago. Say her strengths are motivation. She strives for personal knowledge growth, dedicated. I think she's compassionate in helping fellow students and persistent. She exemplifies an outstanding Islander. She'd had some challenges and all students do, but she sought out services, has used them. And I think she's got a passion and a, and a vision for what she wants to do after she graduates. When this whole people are behind you, I don't see the reason why you shouldn't be graduating with a very good degree or maybe a very good result and all that. And at some point I told myself, I'm, I don't just owe my family success, I don't owe myself success. I also owe the system a success, you know, to show them that the work that they put on me is yielding a very good result. And I always had a plan to be an inspiration to young children in the, in the whole world, not just my community or anywhere in the world, yeah. I always wanted to be an inspiration. So having this video, I feel like I can play this video to any child or anybody struggling in school or having any kind of problem or people or minorities or people who have English as their second language. You know, this video will give them an idea that this is also a good institution. This is a good school for you. The professors here are very good and very, very happy that I can use this message to teach other children, to teach everybody everywhere.